Hi, this is Daniel Lanois, and um, we're about to get a question from Courtney Lavender from Los Angeles. Hi, Daniel. I heard you say at a recent gig that Sono Dorado, which I think is one of your most beautiful melodies, was based on an Irish hymn, and I'm curious what that piece was that inspired you, and I would love to hear you talk a bit about what went into that song. Thanks. Courtney, yes, I've introduced uh, Sono Dorado as something that was inspired by um, an Irish hymn, but I think it, it's not so specifically a hymn, but more the, the kind of melody that I've heard from, um, from uh, old Irish folk songs, um, including um, um, the Patriot Game, I think it's called, which made its way to a Bob Dylan song called uh, God on Our Side. So these are very ancient melodies that keep haunting me. And uh, having spent quite a bit of time in Ireland, I, I got to hear um, some of these melodies sometimes from uh, a violinist um, um, in the area of Wicklow, you know, where there are a lot of traditional players there that um, play these, uh, these ancient melodies. And um, these obviously got under my skin, and so when I wrote Sono Dorado, it was in the spirit of some of the melodies that I remember from Ireland. Um, and it, um, it's something very um, complete about that little melody, and it just came to me uh, quickly. Um, and it's, uh, I think it has some kind of power in it, it just has has lived on very nicely, and it's something that I try and play on my steel guitar at all shows. Um, and people enjoy it. Sometimes I'll play a very clean version, um, and other times I'll overdrive it. It sounds a little more like a, a Jimi Hendrix tone. Um, but the, I think the important thing being that it's, when it gets played on steel guitar, it has a certain tonality that, uh, that uh, speaks to listeners. Um, and that's partly been the springboard to this new record that we've made called Goodbye to Language, because Goodbye to Language was made with steel guitars. Um, on, me on my show bud pedal steel guitar and my buddy Rocco De Luca on his lap steel. Um, and we find that these instruments, um, um, the sound of these instruments provides a sensation that seems to live outside of any particular era. Uh, it's not particularly modern, it's not old, you don't know where it's coming from. And we found a way of playing these instruments that uh, um, provides us with a, a certain kind of expression. And I think uh, Goodbye to Language is, is sort of a nice um, summary of, of a lot of years of steel guitar playing. And so we're pretty excited about this record. It's uh, um, and part of the reason we ask for questions is uh, we want to talk about uh, this record that Anti Records are releasing. Um, and so there it is, man, or woman, rather. <laughs> um, and thanks for asking about Sono Dorado. And I think uh, when you, if you get a chance to listen to Goodbye to Language, you'll hear some of the tonalities that uh, have been um, exported from Sono Dorado into uh, new works. So, uh, all right, Lavender, catch up with you. <laughs> and I'm answering a question from Patrick Klingeborn from Stockholm, Sweden. And uh, Patrick asks, why do you prefer working with the radar compared to Pro Tools or Logic? Is there a big sound difference? Um, I like using my radar because um, it's a little more familiar to me in terms of uh, uh, the hand controllers. Um, so the, um, it's not a mouse system. So it's, it's more like um, an analog machine that I'm accustomed to in terms of the, the controller. So it's as simple as that. Um, <clears throat> plus it's not, it's not a, a Mac-based system. So the, my radar doesn't get scoffed off uh, by anybody checking their emails or anything. It just remains a recorder. <laughs> and I like that about it. Um, we like the sound of radar. Um, 
I've enjoyed Pro Tools, but I've just, you know, when I've worked in other people's studios, um, but I've not used it in my own. It's just what I'm used to and what I know. So uh, um, I think the, uh, um, there's a nice full-bodied sound from Radar. Um, so that's it. It's, it's, I didn't fully investigate Pro Tools. It just happens to be where I'm at with my, t with, uh, my equipment. I, I like the Radar. I'm sticking with it for now. Yeah, Matt, thank you. Answering a question from Mike Hogan. Mike is from New Orleans. Uh, and Mike asks, I saw a video of you and Rocco doing a steel performance, and there was this small antenna device tape, taped onto your pedal steel um, that you would occasionally whack with your thumb on your right hand, sometimes a couple of times in a row. I consider myself a gearhead, but for the life of me, I can't figure out uh, what that was. Um, what it is, it's a, it's a little sampler, and it's normally a, a, a little foot pedal. But because my feet are already busy playing the steel guitar, uh, Wayne Lorenz, who I work with, uh, modified the device and put the uh, single pole double throw switch right on the guitar so I can, I can um, push it and get a little sample. It's not a looper. It's just a tiny, tiny, I think it's about a 30 millisecond sample, and it just cycles it allows me to uh, grab a note and then keep that ring in while I play um, a complementary note to it and stack on top. And then uh, pushing it twice cancels it. Pushing it once again brings another note into it. So it's not stacking. It's just, it's just one note at a time. Um, and it's just a, a little device to provide me with a, um, a little bit of a rock to stand on to create more of a chord with what I'm doing. Um, so that's it. It's just, just a little cheap trick that uh, Brian Eno introduced me to, actually. Um, and um, so that's it, man. It's just a little, a little baby sampler. Thanks for asking.